Hi there, my name is Thomas. I'm the drummer of Psygnosis, Hiroakan, and my solo project Avalanche. I'm here today to tell you I have prepared some special videos, but right before that, I really want to thank each and every one of you because you are now 10,000 to support me, and I can't thank you enough for that. Thank you so much. So, from the day I started my YouTube channel, many of you are asking, what are my pedals? What are the settings? What is trigger and how to use them? Because there is a lot of misunderstanding on this subject. And of course, what are my hand and foot technique? That's a lot to deal with, so I'm going to release four videos. The first one is going to be about my pedals and settings, the second one about triggers, the third one about my foot technique, and the last one, the fourth one, is going to be about my hand technique. So for now, let's talk about my pedals. So, I use now the Chachi Capitos pedals. This is the beast. I use them for one year now, and before that, I use the Axis A longboards for more than six years. And after all this time, I needed some change. I contacted Chachi Copitos late 2017 to ask if I can get an endorsement, and they'd say yes. So I'm really proud today to be part of this great family. So these pedals are really heavy. As you can see, this is some really thick materials. Everything is flawless. The build construction is really perfect. And after one year complete of rehearsals, live, shooting covers, they are still as new. So their name, Polish Tanks, is really a perfect name for the greatest pedal. So now let's talk about their settings. Concerning my settings, they are pretty extreme and are my personal favorites, so maybe you won't use them. For the beaters, I'm not using, as you see, the Xagico beater ones. I'm using the trick beaters because these ones are light and reactive. The Xagico beater ones are really heavy and won't fit to my technique. The beater height is approximately 15 and half centimeters. And the bass drum clamp, it's at the lowest position when I'm using two bass drums and at the highest when I'm using the electronic pad for live situations. And of course, I'm using Velcro under the pedal board so they don't slip while I'm using drum mat. Thank you so much for watching this video and I see you in the next one. Bye.